This year, Martin Luther King Jr. Day falls on Monday, January 16th. The day became a federal holiday in 1983, but was made a government holiday in all 50 states in 2000. The holiday commemorates and honors the civil rights movement and one of its most prominent leaders, Martin Luther King Jr. This week, we interviewed a professor as well as students to learn more about how the holiday remains important years after the civil rights movement. Martin Luther King Day uh, represents an opportunity for you know our nation to come together and celebrate the ideals of, of Martin Luther King Jr., which you know include equal justice, social justice, um, and of course racial racial equality. When Martin Luther King uh, Day became a federal holiday, um, it was a, a very kind of critical moment uh, in our history uh, for a few reasons. One. Um, you know, the civil rights movement, sort of black power era, you know, were, you know, in, in decline in some ways. Um, and, you know, almost a decade and a little bit after King's assassination, um, it was an opportunity for the entire nation to really recognize the, the, the transformative role that the movement had, not just on the United States, but the entire world. I think that learning about U.S. history is really vital to our society. My hope is that Martin Luther King Day will become more of a way to connect back to that history and say, hey, it hasn't been that much time and there are still so many issues that we need to be working on. MLK Day is about not only honoring Dr. King's legacy, but also um, like passing the torch and living it out um, ourselves. I think now, especially sometimes, um, MLK Day can be kind of implying that we're in a post-racial era, but I think that it's important to understand that the issues he addressed still apply now. You can't define the experience for the entire community, so I think that MLK Day is different for everyone. For some people, it's inspiring, and for some people, it's empowering, and I think that everyone has a different um, emotional connection to it. It can be painful because there's a lot of trauma from that um, part of history in um, our country. I think learning about Dr. King's strategies and the way he communicated is really helpful because it was really effective and I think really using that and taking from those strategies in any form of protesting or making change honors his legacy. Students of Color Alliance here at NHS is a place where um, we support students of color and we and their experiences and we also focus on activism and creating change so um, people can come to SOCA and get involved through that. Thanks for watching. To learn more about Martin Luther King Jr.'s work and legacy, visit the website of the King Research and Education Institute at Stanford below. See you next time and have a great MLK Day.